What's up and thanks for joining me again this week. Today is going to be an episode on JSON in the database. I've already done a couple episodes on JSON queries in SQL Server before. One of them was on computed column indexes on your JSON data to make queries against that JSON data really quick. Um, another one was on parsing out your JSON into uh, multiple tables, an automatic way to do that. And while uh, I use those techniques a lot, someone recently asked me about searching JSON, um, especially searching JSON where you might not know the structure ahead of time. In those cases, neither of those previous two videos really work that great. So let's say I have a table with JSON data in it, um, and that JSON data isn't necessarily the same from each row, right? Let's pretend this is a staging table and it's just you know getting a lot of different data inserted into it where maybe later on it'll get parsed out or whatever. But since the structure of this JSON data isn't consistent between rows, uh, something like a computed column index doesn't really work. One option that we have for this data is to just write a where clause with a like in it, um, but that's not gonna really work well because even if we create an index uh, on this JSON data, it's not gonna get used if we use a like with, you know, that starts with a percent. Um, and not only that, right, we're gonna kind of miss out on the metadata involved if we wanna search on a property and its value our like statements are gonna get really messy. Uh, maybe you could do something with some string functions to get it to work, but it's a, it's a terrible solution, right? We don't wanna do it that way. Another option you might consider is doing something with full text indexing, uh, but that's not a really great idea either, right? Full text indexing supports XML data in a database, and it, it's able to parse out all the, the element tags and, and be able to actually create indexes that will help in searching across that XML data. Uh, but for JSON, it's not supported, so you're just left with using regular JSON being parsed as you know string or text data. Uh, it's not gonna give you clean results. There's gonna be quotes and colons and curly braces all over the place, but it's, it's gonna be a really messy process and also not really something you wanna do. So what I propose for you to do is to create a key value pair lookup table. So here's a query that'll do that for you. It's a common table expression that's, that's actually a recursive common table expression, and it goes through your JSON data, taking each key value, you know, property value pair, and putting each one on its own row. For complex objects in your JSON data, like either child objects or arrays, um, it takes each of those values and then parses them out even further. So you, you start with kind of the serialized JSON data and you end up with a very highly structured key value pair table. There's a couple neat features I've included in this query like hierarchy IDs. So if you need to be able to refer uh, to the parent-child relationships, it makes it pretty easy to do that using that hierarchy ID, as well as for some of the objects, especially like arrays, um, normally there are no keys uh, that are left when you parse out an array object using the SQL Server JSON functions. So I've added things like giving the property name with you know bracket zero, bracket one um, for those array values to make it easier to understand that's what you're looking at. So if you run this query, you'll see our output table has all of our key value pairs from our JSON object um, for all the different rows of data, right? It doesn't matter what our JSON data is structured like within a given row, this table parses it all out and stores it in this nice uh, format that is then easy to search. Right, it's easy to search because all we have to do is you know write a query on our key and our value columns and we're good to go. We obviously we want to probably index that, add a non-clustered index onto our value column, include the key column, maybe include the hierarchy ID if you need to be able to reference back or the row ID. Uh, but by doing that, you now have all this JSON data that was once, you know, different structures for each row, now in a very searchable, very efficient format for SQL Server to be able to find the different values and keys that you're looking for. So by parsing out your JSON into this key value pair kind of table, all of your search queries are gonna run really fast, especially if you index that table properly, but at least now you have a way to index it, um, as opposed to before where your JSON data with different structures on each row didn't really lend itself to indexing at all. So thanks for tuning in again this week. Hopefully you find this information beneficial, especially if you're using JSON in your databases. If you're not a subscriber yet, make sure to press that subscribe button so you never miss one of my weekly videos and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>